1223 on this noon hour on Monday. If you have, still have some leftovers, send them my way over here. You could uh, use a little snack here at lunchtime, but you know, it might be a good day to eat outside. Humidity's not too high. Sun shines out. Temperatures are back uh, kind of right around 80 right now, but mostly sunny skies here today and most of tomorrow. Temperatures generally around 80 or so the next few days, probably above that by a little bit, but a fairly warm stretch of weather the next few days. There may be one weak front in the area of Wednesday, but we'll kind of count Friday as maybe the next one has a little more of a punch to it, but still fairly weak. So not expecting a big blast of cool air this week, but maybe little swings in temperatures and small chances for rain as these fronts try to come in, but probably not much rain overall. 70s and 80s right now. We're at 80 in Raymondville, 79 in McAllen and Wessico, as well as Edinburgh and 77 in Port Isabel. Now the humidity is you know, being not super high, but not super low either. Kind of right in the bottom end of that muggy category. Kind of wavers up and down a bit. Came down a little bit uh, last night, probably going up a bit now. So uh, no big swings in the way it feels out there today or tomorrow. Maybe uh, you know enough low humidity to allow temperatures to drop down to about 59 or 60 or so in most areas late tonight. Satellite radar shows pretty quiet weather around. A few little puffy clouds here and there, but no rain on the map. We did have a couple of rain showers yesterday when this weak cold front came in in the afternoon. If you're outdoors for that, kind of a little burst of some light rain showers and spots when the front passed. But future track this afternoon, all sunshine out there, mostly sunny skies around and dry weather. Light winds from the east and southeast this afternoon. By tonight, we stay mainly clear or partly cloudy. You see not too many clouds on the map and temperatures will cool down into the upper 50s and lower 60s. Tomorrow, still like today, mostly sunny skies, maybe a few of those little puffy clouds, but generally a pretty quiet day out there with light winds coming in from the southeast again. And by the time we get into Wednesday, notice things cloud up a little bit more on Wednesday. There will be a weak front to the north that it's kind of falling apart, but what's left of it might come through the valley sometime Wednesday, and you see it could trigger maybe one or two little showers. But again, probably very little in terms of rainfall amounts or any widespread rain. So future track shows almost no places getting rain, but uh, not much of a change with that front either. If it does kind of linger in the area and make it through, could briefly switch the winds more toward the north and bring down the humidity just a tad on Wednesday. But again, not expecting any big changes. So dry weather today and tomorrow, 10% chance for maybe a, a light rain shower or two on Wednesday when that front passes through during the daytime. If it does pass through, but again, it's kind of weakening, falling apart. So again, don't expect much of any rain. So the first one five forecast today back up to around 83. That's warmer than usual for this time of year. Highs uh, generally in the upper 70s near the coast, about the mid 80s in Star County and winds from the east and southeast at five to 10 miles per hour. Tonight will still be clear most of the evening. You may see a few clouds out there, but low temperatures drop down to around 59 by morning. Small chance you might catch a few patches of fog if we do get cool enough tonight and the winds do stay light. First 1570 forecast though, we're tracking another day similar to the day tomorrow. Just say uh, it, it'll be Tuesday, so that's one step up from Monday. Highs around 83. Wednesday with that weak front in the area, it doesn't change much. You see maybe a whole couple of degrees, but mainly dry, a slim chance for a shower on Wednesday and highs mainly in the low 80s. Thursday, mainly Friday looks fairly warm, but there's another weak front coming in Friday. It doesn't look like it will trigger any rain when it passes through, but behind the front, Maybe some moisture building could cause a few more clouds to build by late Friday night, Saturday, and possibly Sunday. That could occasionally cause a couple of isolated showers to form, especially centered around Saturday. But, you know, rainfall amounts at this point still look very light. You know, we're talking maybe a quarter of an inch or less you know, the way things look and not much of a chance for rain. But you see highs generally stay right around the 80 to 83 degree mark all week long in most areas. We'll keep tracking these weak fronts ahead in your first 1-5 forecast here on Channel 5 News at noon.